I guess in this video, I'm going to discuss what how to search item in list view control using text box. So at here this is the text box, here this is the button, and here this is the list of item. So how to search? Suppose if I write at here Rick. So let's write at here Rick. Now if I press enter or click on button, so at here all the name that related with Rick, it's a displaying. Rick Stewart's Jennings, it's a displaying. Now here after the next thing is if I write at here Martin. So Martin, now if I click on button, so all the name that created with Martin that display, Martin Crow, Luther, Landy. Now here after, if I write at here, oh, let's go back. Now if I write at here, Jason. So there are no any Jason in the list. So at here the output should be display enter value not match. So at here this call that I already written. So at here this is the code that is winform.aspx. So at here this is list view control and here this is here I am using on selected index chains and here this is now here after using layout template. So there is the starting here closing inside layout template there is the text box button and placeholder there. Now here item Template here href javascript data bind aware container data item and here br that is for new line. Now suppose if user enter not matching value so that go to empty data template and here this is the starting point of list view and here this is the closing here. Now here after that let's go to asps.cs. Now here I am using at this point not null is post back. So if this condition is true that coincide here I created the data table object dt by using new and data table constructor and here there I added two or namespace post is data and here this is link. Now here after I scroll down and here this is the items there. So this item that I added on the rows. So at here Johns it's all are added on the rows. And here dt columns, this, so there is a one columns, data columns, here written one, that means one columns. And here the name is name. So there is a one column name. Now here after b state, that is table, you can give any meaningful name, so add here dt. So all the value of dt that go to b stored, add here this is the index. Now here after list one data source, add here this values. Now here after list data bind function sorry method here I am using now here after when user click on button 1 so at here there is the one object that is created of text box class db and here so at here find text so all the text that find here that convert into text box times now here that will store into tb now here after tb dot text that go to str and here this is the table and here we stored that convert using at here data tab so this is the tag casting here now here after that value that go to dt and here new data dt1 and here uh, using var the name is v1 so at here dt equal to as enumerable here this is the things where r equal to r dot field here this all those things now if this condition is true so here this all values v1 dot copy to data tables that go to dt1 and here this dt1 go to lst data source and here lst1 dot data bind that we do after that execution of the code that display suitable output So at here you can find list of items here. So this is the list of items John tried here, Rick Martin, this all those things. Now here after suppose add here. Now let's scroll down and here button one click. So if the button one click that happen. So suppose if I enter something like John. Now here after that button one click event that fire that go inside and here 
this will start doing operations so add here text box that text box that go to tv and here tv dot text that go to str and here after vs state table that go to dt next dt1 getting the object of data table dt1 and here this variable v1 as enumerable and here this condition is true so add here this will do the copy data table that is store into dt1 and here dt1 that go to list of data source here after that to the bonding so this is the way we can search item in list view by using text box so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you